Hello everybody, welcome back. This is how to create an anime character for free within Unity episode 2. So in the last video we left off with an unanimated character, but we have a character successfully inside of Unity that can be animated. So what we need to do in order for this character to become animated is go to wherever your character is in the project tab and press this little arrow right here. Then go over to the animation and duplicate it by pressing command D, control D, or just right clicking it and pressing duplicate. And then over here we have Macarena Dance. I'm going to rename this to Dance, just to make it a little bit more easy to use. And then I'm going to come up here and right click this, go to Prefab, and press Unpack Completely. All we need to do is drag Dance to our character inside of the hierarchy. And as you can see, it now has something over here. An animator has been assigned to it, and something over here that says My Character has been assigned to it as well. If you double click this, it opens the Animator tab, and you can see something over here that says Dance. I'm also going to click this dance animation over here and then press loop time equals true so that it loops forever and does not just randomly stop. I'm going to save my scene and then press play. Then as you can see your character is doing a dance and this is the exact dance that I wanted her to do within the Mixamo site. And this is the exact dance that I wanted her to be doing within the Mixamo site. But we still have a little problem which is that we can just literally walk right through here which I'm going to fix by just adding a simple capsule collider and some cube colliders to her body. So what you need to do is go to armature and then go over to where it says 3D object and press capsule. And as you can see, something over here has kind of came up, but um, as you can see, it's obviously not like in the right orientation at all. To fix this, just go ahead and press E to rotate and then move, uh, move it however you want. I need to move mine a little bit more like this, a little bit more like this maybe make it a little bit smaller. And you basically do whatever you need to do to make this capsule collider fit her entire body. And then what I'm gonna do first of all is actually get rid of the mesh renderer over here. And then press edit collider instead. Now this makes it a little bit easier for me to see the capsule collider and the character at the same time. So yeah, I think I've got this around the character in my perfect spot, but um, you will have to adjust yours to how you want yours to be. Next, what I wanna do is since there's no collider for when her arms extend, all I'm going to do is add a simple cube collider to the edge of her hands, which I'm just going to do by going to spine, chest, upper chest, and then left shoulder, and then arm, lower arm, hand, and I'll make this a little bit bigger to see it. It is a really big path, but um, I'm just going to right click on where it says hand, 3D object, and then press cube. So now we have a giant cube, which I'm just going to make smaller by clicking that white dot in the middle and shrinking it like this. And this should be a little bit fine. I'm gonna get this in the right spot here. Um, and then, yeah, I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller over here, smaller over here, and turn off the mesh renderer. Then I'm gonna rename this to something like Collider. I'm just gonna change the position on all of this to zero. Then I'm gonna duplicate the collider again, go to right shoulder, right upper arm, right lower arm, and then right hand. Bring the second collider that I duplicated and then bring it to the hand. I'm gonna get rid of this like little one in the parentheses and I'll change the position to zero, zero, zero. And then I'm gonna change the rotation to match the rotation of this arm a little bit better. And I might actually change the position just to go up a little bit. And yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing for the lower legs. So I'll duplicate this to collider and I'll go to upper leg, lower leg, and then a foot over here and I'll put the collider over here change this over here to zero 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 and I'll move this actually forward a little bit over here and I'll make it a little bit more actually to where the foot is and yeah this should be about fine I'll make it a little bit taller over here and then I'll get rid of this little parentheses one parenthesis over here next I'll go to the right upper leg right lower leg and then uh, right foot duplicate the collider Bring this over here and then go to zero, 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 and then transform that position inside of the inspector. And then change the rotation or position over here just to be a little bit more accurate to where it actually is. And change the rotation over here and change the rotation over here. So I'm sorry if I was moving a little bit fast on this area, but um, yeah, it's a lot. And if I went slow, I feel like the video would be pretty long. But yeah, this is about where I want this collider to be. And I'm just gonna, once again, get rid of this parenthesis area, and then I'll go ahead and close this root because it takes up a lot of space inside the hierarchy. 
So now if I go ahead and press play, as you can see, we can't actually cross through our character anymore. And no matter what we do, we can't cross through our character. And whenever our character sticks her hands out, we actually get hit as well. So that's a really small detail, but it's really important for the character to feel more immersed. And so that if we don't walk into her hands, we can't just walk through her hands. Which as you can see right there, if you caught it, we can't walk through her arms anymore when she sticks them out. We can't actually add a rigid body to this, by the way, because the armature is not inside of the main collider. And in order to put the armature inside of the main collider, we'd have to reanimate every the entire FBX using Mixamo and Blender, and that would be a little bit hard, and I don't really want to show how to do it in this tutorial. So now that our character has a collider and is dancing, in my scene at least, that is actually all I'm going to be showing in this episode just to keep everything split up. So yeah, that was how to create an animation and the collider for your character. In the next episode, I'll be showing you how to create the build board that will be above the player's head that will always follow your camera around when you're hovering over it. So yeah, that was all for this episode. Thanks again. I've been Dover Jake, and we will see you in the next one.